Hi guys and ladies, if you're on a keto diet or just watching your carbs, chances are you've heard of this. It's carb quick. You see, it's like bisquick, but it's very low in carbs. And you can use this as a breading for fried fish. Well, all I needed were some fish, but really poor conditions forced me to shop at a different open air fish market this time. Take a look. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. It's a good one. This looks like a hybrid or a green sunfish. This is not a bluegill. I'll eat it as if it were a bluegill. I really need this for the recipe. Hello. Another one. What is going on here? I got another one of these hybrid fish. I don't know what it is. I never ordered this kind of fish. I only ordered bluegill. It'll be good for dinner. All right. Now this is a bluegill, big enough to eat. This is the only bait that seems to work today. Look what it is. It's like a one inch piece of plastic. It's the body of a tiny beetle spin lure. And for some reason, it works, shut up. For some reason, it works great for me. I got a bass. We need to remove the small ones, even from this lake. So this is a perfect eater. Whoa, okay. A standard bluegill, perfect for dinner. You have to watch the line. When the line twitches just the tiniest bit, that's a fish. <laughs> Too small though. All right. Wrong generation. I'm looking for the parents. Look at this, a perch. It's a yellow perch. It's not real big, but it's good for dinner. These are delicious. Oh, it's a nice one. I think we have enough for dinner. Look at this nice one. Endless rains caused Lake Catcher Big One to be a flooded, murky mess yesterday. I tried hard using several different baits, but I caught only one itsy bass. So I was forced to shop at the tiny kiosk 
little lake catcher big one. And in short order, I got enough for, look at this, a pound of these nice bass bluegill, hybrid bluegill and perch fillets. Now, let's get going with our carb quick recipe. Here's a disclaimer. I'm mostly making this recipe up. Here's a cup of heavy whipping cream, heavy cream. Now I'm adding a half cup of water. And what we have here is sort of like milk because milk is in the original recipe, but I don't keep it on hand. It goes bad fast and it has too many carbs. Now I want to be a little creative. Before we get to our fish, how about we fry up some mushrooms? So into this milk mixture, I'm going to put eight ounces of white mushrooms. I couldn't find the smaller button mushrooms. Let's just soak these. Here I have a plastic bowl, but this isn't any ordinary plastic bowl as you'll soon see. Here's one and a half cups of our carb quick. Let's put that in the bowl. Here's three quarters of a cup of pecorino romano. Let's put that in there. Of course you could use parmesan. It's only a breading. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. One and a half tablespoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of ground pepper. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And this, one and a half tablespoons of Weber Cajun seasoning. New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Let's mix it all up. I've got our powder all mixed up. Into the bowl, I'm going to insert this divider with holes in it. Frankly, I've never done this before. I have no idea how it'll come out, but let's put our soaking mushrooms one at a time in the top level. I'm going to save this leftover milk mixture. Here goes the test. Let's put this lid on things and shake. Let's see what we have. Ooh, nicely coated mushrooms. That's my grandmother's way of saying mushrooms. I'll just put them on this holding plate. I'm going to try to do the same thing with our fish. Let them soak for a minute or so. And then we'll drain them and put them in the device. This is my fry daddy, also known as fry baby daddy. Let's put in an inch and three quarters of oil in here, vegetable oil. You could use whatever oil you like. To be a good cook, you have to use the right kitchen gadgets. Oh, perfect. Let's get back to breading our fish. These have been soaking. I'm going to drain them a little and put them in our device here, our breading device boys and their toys. Although my friend Booger uses the same type of thingy. She's a great cook. I think I'll put a link to her uh, channel in the notes below. You gotta check the notes. Don't ask me where I bought this thing. It's been 30 years. I'm sure they have things just like it on Amazon. I'm putting these now in a holding plate of their own. Oh, they look good. They look nice. All I have to do now is fry up our mushrooms and our fish, and we're done. Time to fry up our mushrooms, our magic mushrooms. Eight ounces I have here. Here goes. I figure five or six minutes. They look kind of good. The only problem is mushrooms float. So you get one side cooked more than the other side. Let's put them on this wire rack and not worry. Our mushrooms look really good. I, I could have even cooked up more. I had a whole pound of them, but that should be enough. Let's get on with our fish now. These are gonna go about three minutes. Let's see what happens. Three and a half, three. Wow. Look how, how brown they got. It's not even been, Look at that. It's not even been uh, three minutes yet. It's uh, more like two minutes, two and a half. Let's put these on the rack. Let me try a little piece for you. For me. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, I got a good piece. Oh, mmm. Oh, I like that seasoning. Mmm. Here's a little stem of a mushroom. 
Oh, mm. oh. Fried and seasoned to perfection. Let's put these in the oven until our special guest comes. While I have a second, I should let you know the special guest is the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and she's on her way here for dinner tonight. I'm ecstatic, uh, although I should curb my ecstasy. You see, we've been seeing each other for 53 years, yet she doesn't seem interested in marrying me. I have to tell her that this can't go on unless she commits to me. I don't know. Here we are once again with a famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, dingy dour double white, where you had a chance to passionately polish off my carb quick fried mushrooms and fried fish. And I, I'm eager to know what you thought of them. Oh, they were both really good. They It was just like a fish fry. And I thought the mushrooms were done beautifully. And the, mm, fish, like and the fish was very good. It, they were both well, well prepared. Thank you. And seasoned, yes. Oh, thank you yes. so much. Oh. <clears throat> you know, Miss Cheeks. Oh, I, I can call you sure. Lulu now. Um, over the past 53 years, it seems that my attempts at starting a relationship haven't been going so well. So, sadly, I'm going to have to start dating other women. Oh, that's too bad. Who was the woman you've been dating up till now? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, can I have a hug?